Hello and welcome to another video of machine learning do-it-yourself exercises. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about simple linear regression. But before that, just a quick recap of what we have learned in video number one, the supervised and unsupervised learning models. So supervised learning models, as explained earlier, have a target variable something which you want to predict or analyze target variable and there are a lot of predictors or independent variables which help classify or predict a value which is target and unsupervised learning we're going to talk about it later here in this video we're going to focus on linear regression so what is linear regression it's a very, very simple statistical method type of predictive model which helps study the relationship between at least two variables. And the one variable would be independent variable. The other would be the target variable. It attempts to explore the relationship, as I mentioned, between two, which is simple linear regression. If it's more variable, it's known as multiple linear regression to so a target variable which is dependent on one independent variable is simple linear regression model and any model which has one target and multiple predictors or independent variables is multiple linear regression so how to do any modeling and we are focusing on linear regression but any machine learning model is an iterative process and this flowchart is going to explain you how it all really works so start the process first and the foremost important thing is to make sure you understand the data make sure you cleanse the data bring the data to a level which is you know ready for machine learning or you know understanding the the data concepts the business value what you're trying to achieve and make sure you identify the target and predictor variables next build and train a model test the model and see how accurate the model is understand the model and iterate with additional number of variables for example you start with one variable and then uh, go on adding multiple predictors and see how the model behavior changes. More the data, more the examples, the better would be the model. Again, once you have the model, are you satisfied with the model? Is model behaving satisfactorily? Is it behaving as per what you need? And once you feel it's not, again, go back to the whole cycle and as I mentioned, it's an iterative process. Go back and forth. And it doesn't mean that a model which worked for a particular data set may work for other data set. Each and every use case is different. And if, when you are satisfied with the model which is being predicted, you test the model again and then deploy it. So let's let's do this we are going to take a use case for a retail you can take any use case and let's do a linear regression model and see how it behaves so the use case we are going to do or understand is this data set which is customer gender job this is the customer demographics and what is the sales amount spend if you are a look store from a store perspective how much this customer is spending in your store and somehow i got the data the data got collected i have the data now so this data is ready for to be fed in and i have the script ready the link for the script is in the comment section and it's on the Google Drive, the same 
Google Drive location which you had in the previous video. So let's read that customer file and this command would read the customer file in CUSP CSV. You can see here in the data section the file is read. To make it very simple, I'm going to create a data frame with income and sales amount for the first six records. So I'm going to create for first six records. It's actually number seven in the Excel sheet because on the top header, but six records. And based on the income group, I'm going to target the sales amount. Again, based on the income group, I'm going to target the sales amount. We see how I am trying to start small and then expand in the other videos to come. Expand my analysis, expand my model, and expand my you know, kind of analytical abilities on the linear or multiple regression model. Coming back in here, let's load this data frame. And the data frame is loaded. Let's understand what this data frame is. Again, six models, income group, and spend. Please see that I renamed the sales amount to spend using this function or syntax. So income and spend. I have a data frame, income data frame. The syntax for linear model is LM, linear regression model. So LM and spend is my target variable. This is my predictor, which is the income. Based on the income, I want the model to be able to predict spend. And the data which I'm going to use is this data frame, income data frame. So the input to the model is this set. And based on the income, I want to predict the spend. Here I create another data frame for my testing purposes. Remember, train test. So for testing purposes, I am going to create a data frame with only one value, which is going to be income 150. So you can look at this. There is no income band of 150 in the data. And based on the model, it's going to predict me the value of spend if the income is 150K. Please remember all the income groups are in K and spend is in dollars. So new ink, and if you want to see this data, it just has one single value, 150. Now, this is my statement to be able to predict the values and that error has been fixed. It was more related to the session. So don't worry about it and uh, just follow it. The spin value is predict model underscore LM new INC. This predict is taking in the model and the new data to be predicted for. Now, if you want to see the spent value, so based on the data set, if you are earning 150K, the spent value should be 1871505. Let's predict on the value something which is already there. Let's see the testing. So it says 1378 is the prediction based on the model, but 120 is 1420. So if income group is 120, the spend is 1420, but the model says that for 120, it's able to predict 1378.162. Well, $40, but pretty close. 